I plan play. on fighting, nigga, in fucking the summertime, man, straight up. Mm -hmm. I ain't been to the gym, nigga, because I've been in the goddamn studio 12 hours a day, so I don't have that energy to get back to the gym. But now, the studio, we're kind of chilling out on the hours right now. We got a lot of shit, so I have time to get back on it. So I'll be back on it, man. <clears throat> we'll, we'll promise you that. I'll be back on it. They said they're waiting for the Mex to come home. Rashid and Ronnie. They said, what is this? Uh, we'll be sparring at the dope house, though, right? We'll be sparring yeah. with little loaves, uh, a couple other cats. Malazzo. <laughs> yeah, I sparred his ass again. He tried to knock me out, but that nigga swung like 99 times and got me like two times. Yeah, damn. That nigga's wild. All over the place with them monkey swings. That boy swing like a monkey. Yeah. Wow. The monk. Um, tell us a little bit about that. So, so Balazzo's your cousin? Yeah, Balazzo, my cousin. Yeah. His mom is my aunt. You know? And uh, in Freeport, my little cousin. So, growing up, we always been in competition, well, he's been in competition with me, maybe you could say, since day one. Wrestling, every time we go to my grandma's house, and as soon as I see that nigga, wrestling on site, smack, boom, on site every time, wrestling, and that eventually turned into... Yeah, man, I actually... Fighting. Did I tell you I got a fight with him, a real fight? The other day after my show, we had, after my boy Thoto's birthday party right here on Main Street, we got yeah, into it. Yeah. Yeah, I tripped out. I'm like, why you guys, man? You guys are always getting into it, man. We were driving home. We were driving home, and that nigga was, he was in the back seat. I was in the passenger seat. No. And this nigga kept on going on about dope house and dope house this and dope house that. I'm like, nigga, that ain't got nothing to do with me, my nigga. I don't want to hear about all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. He just kept on. We was drunk. You know what I'm saying? He kept on and on, and man. So, so I turned around in the back seat. And I was fucking like, like yelled at him, do something, damn bitch ass nigga, come on, all I got down. You know, I got in his face like that to provoke him. Yeah. And he hit me. He hit me. Bam. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? And he was in the back seat. And I had my glasses on. I took my glasses off. And I put them right there. And I said, it's my turn now, bitch. Hold up. And he was he was trying to hide behind the seat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as soon as his ass came out from behind the seat, I said, ah, popped his ass to cup, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> bitch ass nigga, then we got out. I was at my apartment right here and started yelling and all that shit and just went inside. Yeah, man, I got his ass good. Shut up, the, the, the next day we went to the dope house and he was like, you got me good. You got me good. No, yeah, yeah. The next day I seen y'all, y'all was acting like it was just a regular day. I'm like, this shit is crazy. He likes right. to fight, man. I think he likes to fight me. Shut up, Balasso, man. That's the homie, man, 100. Maybe we could do a boxing, man. Maybe I could box him, man. You know what I'm saying? We could do like a boxing thing. That would be cool, you know man. That would be. But but are, but are y'all the same weight? Hell no. Nah. That nigga's like 180 and shit, nigga. That nigga's like 50 pounds bigger than me. Yeah. 170. He's he's well, at least 30 pounds bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? He should be able to knock me out, but he but he can't. <laughs> he said, but he can't. Hey. I ain't gonna put nothing past past uh, Balasso though, man, because he proved me wrong a lot of times, man. I I I fucking remember that time I had him doing uh jumping a thousand, jacks. A thousand jumping jacks. A thousand jumping jacks. That boy hit them motherfuckers. I was like, wow. And we we, we videotaped it. Yeah. So we could run it back and count them. Yeah, we, I remember we went, we went back and counted every single jumping jack he did to make sure he did a thousand. He said, nah, he went halfway. Nah, he, he didn't go all the way. Yeah. That was funny as shit. Yeah, man. Nah, I like I like boxing, man. Boxing is just a sport to me, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. It's a sport. <clears throat> yeah. It ain't no different than baseball. That's how I feel about it. It's a game. Hit and miss. Just so happen to be the head. They're asking, did Carlos used to box? He said he did, but... It, I ain't never seen it. Yeah, man, as well. He said it was Golden Gloves, but 
I haven't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know Carlos until I met Los in what ninety fucking five, maybe when I met Los. He came to my crib. We were talking about this the other day. When I met Los, everybody met him at a different time. You know, we had a big group. But the first time I remember him, he came to my I had a house on the southwest side, off of Bel Air and shit. A little two story crib me and Loco had, where we did the aggravated album at. And uh, he came over, he had a cassette. It was like uh, maybe like three or four songs on there. You know, first time I met him. And then we put that bitch in the cassette deck I had in the studio. And we played that motherfucker. And I was like, man, what the fuck? Man, his voice fucked me up, man. I always say he sounded like Wolfman Jack. You know what I'm saying? You know who Wolfman Jack is? Mm -hmm. Wolfman Jack is is a, uh, he's like a, what do you call it? A, a a radio DJ from back in the seventies and eighties. He yeah. had a deep voice. He had a voice like like uh, like Carlos, Wolfman Jack. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look that nigga up, man. He sounds just like that nigga. And uh, but he had flow. He was rapping real. He would have. He, it sounded good, even though his voice was crazy as fuck. It sounded <laughs> dope to me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, that nigga, it fucked me up. And I was like, that's pretty cool though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, after that, we just started working. You know what I'm saying? But I'll never forget hearing it for the first time. Shadow said he sounded like a mosquito the first time we he heard it. He's like, what the fuck yeah. is that mosquito? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the first time I heard it, I heard uh, it might have been coming up, coming down. Uh, I don't know, My Revenge, My Revenge. And then uh, he didn't even have a Hillwood album. That's right before we were putting together the Hillwood album. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, Hillwood album came out of that demo. Yeah, I think then he got Dopey. Him and Dopey might have made the deep instrumental on the on the Hillwood album. And then he like, uh, what do he do? Took them three or four songs, screwed them up, and then now you got eight songs. 